Hi, uh, my name is Veronica and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel I'm making videos on nutrition, lifestyle, DIY and organization. If you like this kind of content, I hope you can subscribe and stick around. So today's video will be a DIY project on how to make your own teepee house for your toddler. My baby is 10 months old and I think he's reaching a stage right now when he really starts enjoying playing games like a little boy as opposed to a little baby. So having a teepee house seemed to be like a really cool idea. A lot of teepees are really expensive if you buy them from the store. They range from $100 plus. When I looked at the project, I figured I can make it for much less and I ended up spending less than $5, which was a huge win for me. And of course for my baby, now that he has a little house to play in. Without further ado, let's get started. So I start by using four bamboo poles, five feet long and a jute twine. I asked my husband to make holes in the bamboo poles so that I can pass the jute twine through. First step is to pass the jute twine through all four poles through the holes that I have just created so that they are attached with this single string of twine. that I take my jute twine and keep rolling it onto the bamboo poles until I feel there is enough twine and it is all well connected and looks the way I'd like it to look just having this bulky twiny part on top of it. My next step is to select a set of queen sheets that I don't use anymore and here I'm just choosing which color I would prefer. I always iron all my fabrics prior to sewing just because it makes the end product much neater and the sewing process easier. I will now measure the base of the teepee house and from the end to the, of the pole to the beginning of the knot to see how wide I would like my teepee to be. What I find most useful when you're working with very big pieces of fabric is to make straight angles. So I just measured 42 inches on the bottom and now I'm gonna make a straight angle at the center, so which is 21 inches, straight angle up to go 56 inches from bottom to the top. have my 56 inches from the center to the top I'm gonna measure another 60 inches from the corner on the right to the top so following the red line so from for beginning of 42 inches to the end of the 56 has it has to measure at 60 inches for me to have the correct shape of my triangle I'm gonna do same thing on the other side at the end of 42 inches going to the top of the 56 again it should measure at 60 inches okay so here is my triangle I'm making three of these ones 
create the entrance to be tippy, you just split the triangle in half or you can just use the corners of the sheets that are already hemmed. Now I will iron the sides that need to be hemmed just to make the hemming process easier and it would be a lot more even. That's basically all the outer sides that would be hanging to the floor. Now I need to connect the three walls and two doorways all together. My next step is to connect everything together. I do so by carefully matching the lines that I have drawn on the sides of the triangles and securing these lines with pins in order for my project to stay even so that when I'm sewing through it is all nice and neat. leaving about 7 inches at the top just because I won't be connecting it that's where the poles would be exiting at the very top. So you can see here the entire TP is now connected and it creates this half moon circle. You can stop right here just because really the canopy is done or you continue further with this tutorial in order to make this project a little bit more advanced. My next step is to cut off excess material between the doorways and the walls in order to make it look more neat. I will also attach two ribbons on each of the four stitch sides in order to connect the tipi canopy to the bamboo carcass. I also like to seal both ends of my ribbons for them to be stronger. I decided to expose the top of the bamboo poles and for that I will be removing some of the material at the very top of the tipi canopy. To do so, I need to remove about 10 inches from the top of my tipi canopy. For that, starting at the very top, I will measure out 10 inches on each side of the four triangles, which will give me a total of 6 points, which I would then connect with a total of 5 straight lines. cut off about 2 inches above the 5 straight lines creating an irregular cut that kind of looks like a diamond shape. Now I'm gonna pin everything together. So what I need to do is to create a tunnel inside the top of the teepee for me to be able to pass a string through. As I turn over my work, you can see that now I have this hemline and I'm gonna make it a little bit less tight by cutting at the very top, 
So now I will stitch it together creating this wide hem with for which I can pass a string. So this is the very top of your TP canopy and now I'm gonna show you how to pass a string through this hemline. I have attached a safety pin to the end of my string of choice and the safety pin helps me to guide my string through the hem pocket for all the nooks and crannies. The very last step is to seal the fabric above the doorway. For that I will pin about 10 inches starting at the base of the hem pocket and going down toward the base of the teepee. Be careful not to stitch through the hem pocket because you want your string to move freely in there. watching this video I hope you like this tutorial I really enjoyed making it and I think the TP came out really nice yeah please like and subscribe if you like this type of videos and if you enjoy the type of content I'm posting I would really appreciate it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye 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 <laughs>